Good morning and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we're going to be going over the last of my Dungeon Dragon stuff. Uh, it is basically almost all modules, you know, like pre-made campaigns and stuff. There's a few rule books and stuff mixed in because they were packed away with the modules and I just unpacked them. Uh, so, like always, no particular order, just it is what it is. And uh, this is probably one of my most valuable modules. It's worth, uh, last time I checked, it was worth over 150 bucks. So, it's called Queen of the Spiders. Uh, when you're seeing this, I have no idea how much it's worth at that point. But, you know, when I checked it a couple years ago, it was worth 150 bucks. Uh, Next, these are D20 stuff that I should have shown before, but they were packed away. It's the character folio. Uh, basically, uh, it's a whole stack of character sheets for the big eye, small mouth stuff. Okay, here we go. Got Forgotten Realms, the Seven Sisters. That's a module. Forgotten Realms. Wait, I do have Volo's Guide to All Things Magical. Last video I said I didn't have it, but apparently I do. So I have the complete Volo set. That's nice to know. And now everything will get packed away and I'll forget what I have again. But that's fine. I'm going to go through and actually catalog all this stuff real soon. Uh, Forgotten Realms pages from the mages. Did it just get dark in here? Uh, Forgotten Realms powers and pantheons. Here is my Forgotten Realms Atlas. Uh, the same as like the uh, Dragonlance Atlas, it shows it all the different things. Like all the buildings, landscapes, all that crap. Uh, next we have Mithranor Adventures, the supplement to the Mithranor box set. Uh, Ruins of Central Keep campaign book. This is from a box set that I don't have the whole thing of, unfortunately. But I do have some of the books and stuff. Uh, I believe this is also from Ruins of Zento Keep. It is uh, monsters, like uh, special monsters from Zento Keep. And here's the other book for Ruins of Zento Keep. I'm only missing a couple things out of it. I actually even have the map, but that goes in my map folder. Next we have Fritz Duerden. Uh, Guide to the Underdark, really cool book. Uh, this one's fun. This uh, my copy I had when I was younger is completely destroyed from playing it. Uh, this one's in fairly good shape, really, really, really good shape. Uh, Labyrinth of Madness, very long, very pain in the ass uh, module. Uh, we have the Complete Thief's Handbook. We have the Complete Thief's Handbook. We have the complete psionics handbook, which a lot of people don't use psionics in Dungeons and Dragons, uh, but that comes in handy with Dark Sun because that is a main focus in that campaign setting. Uh, we also have the complete priest's handbook, the complete fighter's handbook, we have Drow of the Underdark, this is sealed. Elminster's Ecologies, The Battle of Bones, and Hill of Lost Souls, which, if I'd have known I had this during our last campaign, we were in those areas, I could have cracked it open and gave it to uh, the guy who was running the game. Uh, this one, this is this is actually, I believe, the one I had from when I was a kid. Uh, Black Courser takes place in like the Orient area of the Forgotten Realms. Really big and in-depth uh, campaign setting. We have Den of Thieves. It's a lot of NPCs and small campaigns and stuff about thieves. City Sites. It's a bunch of uh, small cities and hamlet type things uh, to add to your campaign. Well, here's another high level campaign uh, Dungeon Master Options book. Should be with the other books, but whatever. We have uh, Shadow Dale. Really, really good guidebook. I think that one gives you the most info out of any of the books about Shadow Dell. Have the Arms and Equipment Guide. Have the Draco Nomicon. Uh, 
the next two books uh, are really really cool uh, the first one is super cool it's from a little known uh, world called Maestra uh, it's the world that if you've ever played the Dungeon Dragon arcade games uh, which I can't think of the freaking name right now, but I have them on the Saturn, uh, or not Saturn, the Dreamcast. Uh, but it's that world, and the monsters in it are really cool. We use them a lot in Forgotten Realms because uh, it's the same system, you know. Uh, Advanced Dungeons and Dragons, just a different world, and the monsters are all interchangeable. But uh, Monstrous Compendium Appendix for Maestra, it's its own book. It's not like a punch out one that you put in a binder uh, this next one however is and this one is actually worth a lot of money uh, it was really hard for me to get my hands on this I've been looking for it for years uh, it is the Advanced, Dun Advanced Dungeons and Dragons second edition monstrous compendium Dark Sun appendix it has all the specialty monsters for Dark Sun in it uh, and I do have pretty much I have all these books that are in my collection plus a million more all digitally so these never get touched which is good because it's worth money I don't want to devalue something if I don't have to <clears throat> and we got a dungeon master screen those are always helpful to hide rolls from the players and stuff uh, old uh, first edition uh, module Tomb of the Lizard King uh, player screen gives you quick reference stuff uh, for the player so like hit how, how Thacko works and all that stuff is on it another one of those uh, dungeon module T1 the village of Hamlet so my buddy Nick has I think an even bigger module collection than me and he put all of his in uh, comic bags and boards and he puts them up on display it's really cool uh, Dungeon Dragons Red Arrow Black Shield Death's Ride. There's a creature catalog. Let's see. These sets, these are parts of a box set, older box set that I used to have. Uh, the red set, which is Player's Manual, and Dungeon Master's Guidebook, and a few monsters, and an adventure. Uh, there's also the blue set, which I have the books for that. I don't have any of the sets anymore, though, which sucks. Uh, here's something really cool Rogue's Gallery. World of Greyhawk, Castle Greyhawk, one of the best worlds ever written. Uh, find some of the Greyhawk uh, novels and read them. They're really, really good. Uh, Forgotten Realms, Doom of Daggerdale module. This one doesn't have its uh, cover anymore, but that's fine because it's a duplicate. It was the Lost Island of Castanamar or something like that. Uh, Creature Crucible, The Tales of the Wee Folk. There wasn't too many of those put out. They were... I think they were going to be like a, every few months or something like that. They'd put one out, uh, but they didn't really do much with it. Uh, another Dungeon Master screen. Old school character record sheets. They're actually still... Well, those are... <laughs> there. Uh, there you go. They're actually still intact. There's a whole bunch of homemade ones in this little folder too so uh, player character record sheets these are even older show you the inside <laughs> if you've ever played on one of these you're really old school and then there's the uh, outer cover next we have the book of marvelous magic Fantasy Adventure Game Expert Rulebook. It's just some added rules and additions. And remember, none of these are rule books. Uh, they are suggestion books on how to play the game. That was book number two. Here's book number one of that series. I believe they were like a small box set too. It looked like they were in a binder or something. Uh, here's another module, the Forest Oracle. What is that? Fantasy Adventure Module Pharaoh? 
Uh, the Assassin's Knot. That's a cool one. Lost Caverns of... I cannot say that word. If you know how to pronounce that word, uh, please put it in the comments. Okay. This is a really old Dungeon Master screen. Uh, next we have... The only one I have, but I... Or no, I have a couple over here. Uh, Dragon Magazine. Uh, the Best of Dragon, which I'm probably going to be selling my physical copies of the Dragon Magazines. Uh, because I have... Uh, I'll pull them out and show them here in a minute. Uh, there's White Dwarf. Let's see if I can get to those. Okay. I have... All the computer software for Dungeons and Dragons here. One I was talking about, which is Dragon Magazine, and it is complete. Uh, it wasn't sealed when I got it, but it is complete. Core Rules CD ROM 2.0, that is complete. This one was sealed when I picked it up and I opened it so I could use it. Uh, it's the expansion for Core Rules 2.0. Unfortunately, oh, I don't know how to try it on Windows 10, but on Windows 7, none of these things worked very well. They crashed, so buggy. Uh, Forgotten Realms Interactive Atlas, uh, especially the Core Rules, because it had to connect to an online database, I guess. And that database no longer exists, so there you go. I also have uh, a couple more Dragon magazines. Try to get that glare off. There's another dragon. And another dragon. This is a cool looking rule book. It's like a... I don't even know where that came from. Out of uh, some box set or something, I guess. Secret of Bone Hill. It could even have came out of one of the early board games, because there was a board game me and my friends played that kind of it wasn't bad, but it's not the same as the pen and paper. Uh, Quest for the Hearthstone. Huh. I just happened to fall out of one of Fantasy Lords. It's some uh, miniatures catalog. Hang on to that. I'll put it in there. Uh, Lathan's Gold. Here goes... Uh, some more of those expert rule books and stuff. I wish I had these complete in the boxes with all the stuff. You know, there's the like blue green and then the blue. There's just so many of these. See, I got to go through all of this and sort it all out. You know, pick out the stuff that I'm getting rid of because I am downsizing everything. Uh, here's an expert set module, uh, Curse of Xanthon, or Xanthon, something like that. Uh, Keep on the Borderlands, module B2. Uh, Isle of Dread. Isle of Dread. Best thing to do with Isle of Dread is you use uh, players that don't know how to swim. And another Dungeon Master screen. Blade of Vengeance. Here's some Dragon Lance. Uh, Dragons of Hope. Dragons of Flame. Dragons of Despair. Uh, find those books. Dragons of Autumn Twilight. You know, all the uh, Margaret Weiss, Tracy Hickman novels are awesome to read. We got a uh, quick start guide of Dungeon Master. Uh, the Dungeon Master Guide. I'm going to shut my phone off real quick. We got uh, Monster Manual. A Player's Handbook. And these last two books that I have here are from the Forgotten Realms campaign box set, which I only have the books. I have the DM source book. Uh, there's a lot of NPCs and information like that. And Cyclopedia of the Realm, same thing. A lot of just information about the area. And I have a ton of maps. I'm not going to open up all the maps. I'm just going to show you like that. All these maps and stuff uh, no longer have box sets they go to. They're just loose. 
which is kind of sad, but I still keep them. We still use them. Uh, so, that's it for my Dungeons & Dragons collection. Got it all out in three videos. Not bad. Uh, stay tuned. I don't know what's coming next. Uh, surprise me. And uh, I'll see you next time. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.